A cipher moves the water, ogling, resting upon this hill. Its ripples raise a mist and haze. Its willows weep, the waves they seek. A south breeze mist the north wind's bite. The black earth soil of a far river's might. Reminiscent of scars, the yonder years tempted me to ponder fears. I said no, hear the raven's song. A restless aching, yearning for death's transformative partaking. You must rehearse wisdom's score before battles of blood rage took and tore. It's through bitter things you may brim with doubt, with long burning questions, aged aeons to count. In the language of coded silence, it wrought forth to speak, and bridged the void's pyre as it shrieks. Embraced and observing upon that hill, a cathartic explosion within the fire, water still, silken, and blazing. Welcome back, everyone. This is Seth Esposa, Black Earth Productions, Blue Flame, Healing Arts and Occult Science, Temple of the White Dragon. Back again on another segment. And to this in terms, I'm here now to share some updates of where I'm going to be taking things with the platform, as I also have a specific project that I'm going to be launching in the near future, which is now systematically being worked on. It is going to take some time before it is published with Black Earth Productions. Right now, I need to jump on here with some things that need to be addressed. And to that, I will say welcome to hell, motherfuckers. And see, before you filter what I just said through your religious perception, an acute misunderstanding in terms of what hell actually is given, the language and filter to interpretation and indoctrination, you have been conditioned to a skewed filter to in terms. This has nothing to do with what you may assume I am saying with your religious conditioning. Hell, in its proper context, is the term for healing. And I'll say it again as I have before, all of us in the West must get back to our true roots. Every race, tribe, and culture, we must get back to our true roots and remember why certain things have been skewed against us for that very reason, to pull our world and this entire realm into chaos and confusion. One of the major problems as to why there is so much fucking pain and suffering in the world is because of this specific disconnect. And from this, let alone not knowing our true occult histories, again, this goes for all people all across the world. I understand many things in terms of these circumstances, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, or temporal to its challenge. I myself have been facing challenges that have had me pull back for a bit, but alas, I've overcome them like I always do. And I'm back on with a fury now as I have been driving things forward. But with what has been conditioned and programmed to a false hope that if people work hard enough or pray hard enough, the world is going to change. Or that God, or that any God, for that matter, is going to somehow do a goddamn thing about it. That is not how reality actually works. And it's never worked like that. It's only been a part of what has led up to everything as it is. A denial of our actual responsibility here on ground level. And it's this fucking pain that boils hot as fuck. And it boils deep underneath these thoughts and feelings we can't fully fucking understand or necessarily put into words. Let alone do we understand why they are there. I don't know about you, but this is how it's been with me as I've been working to articulate and share not only things that have been revealed to me, but parts of my personal path work trajectory. You must realize that if you are a person that is remotely anything like myself in terms of templating, what you are picking up on most of the time is not even you. But you can sense and feel it all around you. You can see it, even mirrored in reflection of what we have all been conditioned to be in denial of, especially in terms of escapism. It's what is happening on a multidimensional level, which is why we must ward and be throwing not only our personal shields in context to the template codex of our tribal shields, but realize 
that this is what strengthens the planetary shields when we stand as individuals and as a collective here in terms of who we are. This goes for all races and tribes across the world that get it and have an actual legacy to that which existed before the great betrayal ever took place. This, as I've said, all along belongs to all of us. And I can assure you that one of the keys to our liberation rests within this one factor. Knowing who the fuck we truly are and knowing just how powerful and capable we are as human and held accountable to it. Your condition to deny this and is constantly being attacked with the current culture of madness and indifference to it in trade for multiple subcultures where you are working to find your identity, conditioned to insert thinking that's who the fuck you are. And to it all, across the world, all this shit and trash that thinks that it's going to be able to compensate even further with an artificial AI construct that the youth especially are being bombarded with in such blatant ways. You have to be an absolute fucking idiot to not recognize it all for what it is. And I, for one, will never stand for it. It will despise and fear those that rise against it. That's the hour that we are in right now. You have been conditioned to diminish and conditioned to somehow think that by denying your pain, that you can somehow escape reality or that somehow it's just going to go away. And that's why you run. This is why everyone runs. But in that, you only end up chasing and devouring your own tail as it's designed to do. This is the dialectic of the Ouroboros in context. And all the while, the world is drowning deeper into nothing more than a massive identity crisis. Realize, this is exactly what the fuck all of this shit is about. It really is nothing more than one massive solipsistic identity crisis across the board. And to it, that pain and confusion and chaos has increased. All the more to be accepted as something fucking normal in the realm and it's the most insane bullshit to a mental disorder in terms of dysphoria that you can possibly imagine. The fact is that you will not be able to escape the cries of the ancestors within your blood and bones in terms of all of this. And that is what they are working to kill from within you in terms of the corruption of the genome. That was the whole purpose of what was unleashed in 2020. We are starting to see its culmination manifest and warned against on my end as well as others in network even as it was in ancient times, to the great betrayal that took place. And if people don't catch it, they're going to have to learn the hard way eventually on another timeline when it comes to the ancient future. Realize that those that go against the true self and the true will force ignited by the higher force and the power of the blue flame itself, you are acting as an enemy against humanity. And even worse, than the actual enemy because you don't realize that you are a pawn in their goddamn fucking game set against your fucking mind to silence these things within yourself having been programmed to it and that right there is a lot of what that fucking pain you have been experiencing has been if you really want to get to the root issue here in terms and also your disconnect from nature and the universe and how things actually work in terms of reality and as they have all been working to get your attention in terms of actual awakening. What do you think awakening is, everybody? What do you think the true awakening actually constitutes? What is it that we are in the process of awakening? It's as I've said. The codex within your templating in terms of who you truly are is what these bastards do not want you to remember. That's is buried deep within this valley of fucking pain to the title of this specific segment. And what I'm addressing, that you cannot escape and you're not going to be able to escape no matter what you assume otherwise. I've already seen the trajectory. It is playing itself the fuck out right now all across the board as you hear me speaking. So as to the procession of the grand cycle, you have all been lowered by the enemy even harder into doing everything you can to numb and distract yourselves with bullshit away from the goddamn truth, let alone assume that it all may be in vain if you know the difference. And I've seen many, and I mean many, fall to the fucking wayside 
And many, and I mean many, I know, to my abilities are fluxing in these moments still. And to it, truth itself is mentally punishing your asses for ignoring what has become so blatantly obvious. And because you said fuck you to the calling, or you think it's bullshit, or that you can escape this realm in terms of reality, you still don't know fully on the levels what rightfully belongs to you. And you have to go all in on this and your responsibility to it. And I mean fully learning how to truly remember who the fuck you actually are and what all of this here on earth actually is. This is not my opinion. This is not my assumption. This is what truth has revealed and also confirmed over and over and over and over again over the years. The last decade since the mystery school has been running. And I will, with my galder and evocation, speak forth the pain and suffering of hell until my lungs bleed with every fucking fiber of my being and continue to remind those who are in utter ignorance of the birthrights of mankind that it is at hell's gate to Udinma that you will witness and experience the killing stroke and power against it all beyond anything in your life to what this world has ever seen break open. Hell is very real in context. And again, it's not what you've been conditioned to assume it is. That is a major part of how everything has been twisted into what has manifested pain and suffering in this fucking world as it's been for centuries now. This, I can assure you, is I have its evidence and confirmations. My templating and my blood codes are in direct alignment with it, within the codes of my IC to Helsinki, even as unto the All-Father himself. That's why I know what I know within the ribbon script codes of my RNA DNA transcript, which has been lit up on other levels that I am in the process of integrating my own key codes to hell, which again is the gate to Udenma itself. It is through actual initiation into the occult and the mysteries of reality that the power of truth reveals itself unfiltered and is 100% pure in that place. And there are no hard truths or paradoxes to reconcile because it's where the reconciliation of all things reveals itself and transcends the lockdown triangulated equations set against your fucking mind and soul. All correlations and confirmations are made plain to know. And again, it's specific to an individual's templating. And to its breath. They are revealed. And until you embrace your pain and suffering on these levels of absolute ignorance and take your full rights initiation into the mysteries, this is why our mystery school was created and instituted into the earth again to share what your rights to life fully entail beyond these things, realizing that the pain you are conditioned to avoid is the actual gateway to true liberation in this life. This offers those to whom it's meant proper knowledge and wisdom that you're not going to get anywhere else quite like this. And I guarantee that whatever level you are at, without knowing these things, you will not cross the thresholds in terms of what is upon our world right now in these moments. This war is ever real and it's going to continue to culminate in our realm and we will continue to hit that wall of shit and pain on the collective levels of suffering and indifference to it until this is realized. You can mark my fucking words. And you must come to realize that all of the power that you are actually seeking is there within you already to be unearthed within the very organic technology that is you on a multidimensional level. It's not to negate this flesh. It's knowing how to move and work with it. And this is why they fuck with everything on the level that they are in terms of the food, the water, the air, the medicine, the goddamn fucking education system. Every fucking level of our physical lives now set to key humanity into an AI construct and cut you off even harder than it's been. So that you don't actualize on the levels that you could and can knowing the difference. You must realize that this is why this is happening. And the two main timelines are running neck to fucking neck as to the original timeline trajectory that I've been speaking about for years now.
that we're all actually meant to be on here on Earth. Do you know how much fucking bullshit I've been observing is out there now? You can't find anything remotely fucking intelligent on the surface to fucking all this shit. And even if the AI timeline has been unleashed, you don't fully fucking understand what will happen if you go with it. And there are many in the positions I know that know the difference as we have been working to weave this great tapestry back together and network so that what we do will continue to rise in the face of all of it as we all rise together side by side. And if you don't catch it, it's going to remain dormant compared to the levels that it would if revealed and embodied otherwise. I encourage all of you hearing this right now that if you have not taken the step forward with me one-on-one -on -one to the results of my own life and those that have taken initiation into the mystery school, the pain that I speak of still fucking owns your ass. It's what is plaguing, which is also why you're owned to your own indifference to it in denial. And this again is for those to whom it's meant. My mission to incarnation has made itself very fucking clear, and it is very specific. I am not here to save the fucking world. I am here in service to truth, and responsible as a way shower to it for those who are truly seeking it, and that find it with this platform, and are ready to start graduating this realm, and stop acting like a goddamn fucking slave, not knowing the fucking difference. This is what I have been entrusted to create, and that I have been entrusted to keep going, by the higher force itself. And these things cannot be compromised. The alignment of the original timeline. What will you choose? Pain and suffering and denial? Or actual fucking freedom by embracing the why it's even there in the first place? When you decide to actually take this the fuck back on the levels. That has never been done before. Use your mind to see. Use your heart to feel into what the fuck I am saying here. And as for all the women out there hearing this, the things I need to address here in terms of the true goddess, the true feminine principle embodied in terms of nature and the universe in terms of cosmic law, by allowing the ignition of true care to surge through your very being, to saturate your blood and bones. All of you that would be human here on earth in terms of true alignment to self-mastery, do not allow it to be manipulated in terms of dark care to a false virtue otherwise, which needs to be put the fuck down. Realize that wisdom unto the All-Father and All-Mother knows what is necessary in terms of this fundamental and wrath against it. Realize why it's been targeted, the goddess, more than anything in our realm, as to the weird which reveals our true occult histories. She was thrown into fear of loss and not surviving upon witnessing the death of the human soul, who was also seduced among her own kind in terms of pseudo-power unto the Old Ones and rulership of the Svarta Far over everything in the realm of Midgard, otherwise through the fire withered herself. That dark witch who leads forward the funeral pyre of humanity, contracted by Loki with the blind god in terms of the old ones, as we have seen quite clear again in our world to overtly destroy this principle and universal fundamental greater than what was attempted before to control that which envelops and gives birth to that nurtured the seeds of vision and therefore gives life unto existence itself hear me you need to catch this you must realize that evil works on the same principle to its fucking inversion and what you don't know is how well our lady keeps her secrets and are protected in terms of alignment and to it realize that it is yourself in terms of your own life that you are running from it's goddamn fucking pathetic and fucking disgusting what I am witnessing and what all of the other men in this realm are fucking witnessing in terms of womankind right now. I'm a cosmic fucking sigma in terms of what it means to be truly alpha. And you must realize that that which you are running from is your fate, which you are hiding from. 
Realize that your pain that you are avoiding in denial. Realize that her ways in terms of Our Lady are not known in terms with most, and you must come to know them. The mystery of the spindle you must come to know in order to seal off the inverted womb gate of the abyss in terms of this realm. This is also a major thing that all women in this realm are actually capable of doing. And we as men that know the difference are at the front lines of this fucking war to make sure that it does not completely take everything the fuck over. You need to hear this and you need to rise to the reality of this fact. What we are dealing with is the antithesis to life since what happened did. Even as the ancients knew and warned against in terms of prehistory. It's right there in the mythos. It cannot be denied. The mystery held within the roots of the true universal tree of life itself. And is revealed to those who come to know the answer the riddle of the Norns themselves. This was bestowed upon me in terms of my shamanic rites of initiation. To be a way shower and keeper of the blue flame itself. Unto it along with everything else revealed with the mystery school. The answer was entrusted to me for those to whom it's meant. And how to discover this when it comes to templating. The answer to the riddle is not general. It is very specific in terms of the individual unto the fates themselves. These are the gates of the black earth that you must enter. Within the wheels wept its riddle, a thread, the soul upon its spindle, weep as to be wept, a dark secret kept, ascertained through the golden sigil. This is the riddle of the Norns. That is the riddle to liberation, to your freedom. The gate of hell, which reveals the alignment of the original timeline trajectory in this realm. And one major thing about the American territories, the practical existence that I absolutely fucking love, everyone is armed to the fucking teeth where I am. And there is no local bullshit legislation that violates our Second Amendment inherent right to bear arms, even as it is with all weaponry. And there are the secrets revealed that unlock the true power of nature in the universe and how to wield battle magic in context. And regardless of where you are in the world, realize that your inherent rights cannot be given or taken away from you. You must know them and you must exercise these rights yourselves regardless of what any alleged institution to an assumed authority dictates otherwise. You either exercise your rights to life or you don't. That is the real way that they are given, let alone taken the fuck away. And those that know, let alone why, do exercise these rights. So as we go into ourselves in terms of the true path, also the common sense in this world, put some magic on it, you guys. Everything is connected and you must become weaponized individuals on all levels. Only then are you going to have a full arsenal invested and prepared for whatever the fuck is necessary in terms of everything on a multidimensional level. And as it states in the Havma'al, where you recognize evil, speak out against it, and give your enemies no peace. That is Havma'al 127. Now, another thing that I want to share in this segment is the secret of secrets, and is the secret of the Goat King. And to the Great North, to the sacred sigil of my lineage, Boza, hails the symbol of the goat, and is our family totem. Upon our crest also resides the Rusty Cross sigil of the Maga Grail Shaman unto the Phoenix itself. This also to my family lineage in terms of ancient Kemet, to the Misser Lamar lineage bloodlines, equates Nether Kanum in context to the goat. I am bringing now a certain sigil to the forefront with the Mystery School, and is exclusive in terms of its meaning to legacy, and also with the music project that has been launched with my black metal band, via lupus intus our name means the wolf within who again stands at the gates of true intelligence when it comes to the path of odin and amente itself and what people don't realize in terms of symbolism on all levels let alone the misappropriation and twisting in terms of what the pentagram actually reveals is the demonization of the goat 
and in terms of revealing the goat saga what the boza saga is in context there are many things that will continue to reveal themselves as i progress and another thing that is interesting with no connotation in terms of what i will share if anyone does not know this the term got or god was derived from the word goat in terms of the original root language of humanity's languages across the board to its actual etymology so as to the principle of inversion versus the principle of alignment the seven pointed star to the gates of wisdom in terms of star sequence ignitions of the alpha and what the seven horned seven eyed goat king of wisdom takes things back to in terms of the original teaching this is what was traded out on an appropriation for a quote-unquote lamb and twisted into the concept of a scapegoat to be slaughtered as stated in their book of revelation instituted at the council of nicaea 325 a.d in terms of christendom via the dark luciferian current to satanism which is setianism to the cult of baton and the sumerian draconian empire all of this goes much deeper beyond the surface of what i'm saying here than you can imagine but this in context is how the goat has been demonized and is my point in terms of this the baphomet that many assume is the baphomet is not what the true baphomet actually is let alone its true symbol the true baphomet is everything to do with the braxis 365 to set typhon which is something that i revealed in those segments specifically on black earth productions that you can go check out this though to the goat as far as my study and observations are concerned has been used to mask the head of the decapitated goat in context to the pentagram via the goat of mendes and mocks and conceals who the goat king actually is to the pentacle star on its forehead the five pointed star in context seal the fuck off the lens of the third eye first eye conjunction ignition trajectory within an individual's templating let alone its principle specifically when it comes to proper knowledge and wisdom this is also where aries and capricorn's true current is revealed in alignment and realize that in terms of the occult all symbolism is neutral in reflection and is also accountable to the principle of the law of first mentions whether to the principle of inversion or the principles of alignment let alone the principles of triangulation and twisting they have been inverting the principle of the goat at the very least since even before 1307. This is how you're all being mindfucked otherwise to so many goddamn assumptions with so many different fucking things across the board still. It's literally fucking insane as I observe it. Even those that think they know the occult on the level, you still don't know how deep it actually goes. Where most are within the first veil still, let alone why those that assume power over us here on earth how they have used the inverted principle of the goat to monotheism and organized dark occultism especially in the last 200 years and it twisted the root languages of humanity working to destroy the truth of what this is so when someone like myself that knows the difference tells you the truth in terms and you can look all of this up yourself which I encourage you to do. And though this may be filtered through your assumptions about the occult on the surface of what you do not fully understand or know the difference to, continues to play both sides of the triangulated equations to symbolism, to demonize, and then continue to conceal. And with this, I just took it all the fuck back. This symbol has nothing to do with what I just mentioned. My sigil, in terms of the Goat King, to its actual fucking alignment, and the seventh gate axis in terms of actual initiation into the occult, and accessing the gates of wisdom unto Amenti itself. That is what this means. The sigil of the Goat King is something that I created in terms of lineage with the Mystery School, warded also by the fire letters and blood to his true position and the crest of my name mark it well in your mind in terms of this disclaimer this is also how i am working with my personal template and sharing it with you guys i have reached a point 
of no longer holding back a goddamn fucking thing anymore. And I don't care if people are not ready for it. Much more is coming. The blood codes are real, as are the bones in my spirit is contained. Or be a fucktarded idiot to assume this is some kind of inverted satanic bullshit, which it's not, or ever fucking will be. On the contrary, know that I am personally opposed to anything that is inverted, let alone twisted and triangulated in upon. And know that the principles and fundamentals to all of that shit otherwise for the true student of the occult, I am on all levels with both the light and the darkness and have transcended both in terms and know how this shit has been manipulated against us on every goddamn divide and conquer dialectic that you can fucking imagine. And as those who are working with me to that level, to an actual apprentice or an adept with the mystery school, to the birthright of what belongs to you, the doors to initiation are open for anyone who wants to learn. And I want to share this exclusively with everyone that has been. I will be using this from this point forward, and I don't want anyone to mistake what this actually is otherwise. Again, I've taken this the fuck back with my blood rights to it in context to symbolism, which is upon my family's fucking crest itself. And even as Manly P. Hall, in terms of his work, stated, quote, We are the gods in terms of atoms that make up ourselves, but we are also the atoms of the gods that make up nature and the universe in terms of symbolism to its actual alignment. Do you know thyself? Do you know who you actually are? Realize that when the true identity of the true will force ignites within the templating of who you truly are and starts to reveal itself, that is when the malware and the programming kicks the fuck in. That's the pain in terms of fear. And to that, you need to stop fucking lying to yourself. I can only imagine what this path work would reveal in terms of who you are. You are conditioned against your pain. If you feel it, it means you're still alive. You're still alive, motherfucker. Conditioned against who the fuck you really are in denial of it. And that is why. That is what the dark wants fear. And fear is one of the main tactics unleashed in this hyperdimensional war on a psychic level. Realize that fear is nothing to do with core intelligence or the human soul whatsoever. So anytime this is happening, you're out of alignment. And to conquer fear, you must become fear. You must bask in the fear of other men and women. And they all, including yourself, fear most what they cannot see. And when you truly come to know thyself and stop assuming that by simply saying that you know thyself, that you fucking know thyself. No, 98% at the very least have no fucking clue what that even means or what it actually looks like if it was right in front of you on the levels that it would otherwise. And if you don't know why you've been cut off from having proper knowledge and wisdom to know thyself on the level, you along with everyone else is in the drowning forks of terror, trauma, and turmoil within the wheel of the first veil still. That is how all of that is designed to operate. And I'm not the type of person that's here to take you on a tour of those fucking traumas. In fact, I don't even give a shit about what they are. You inherently know what they are within yourself. And you don't need anybody out there to exploit them in terms of causing you to diminish or seeing yourself as less than. I'm speaking to your very soul in terms of my position. I'm speaking past all of those things. But as with anyone that is unwitted, continues to reach to fill the void, the answers you are actually seeking are already there for you to embrace beyond these thresholds. That is what I am here to show you how to access. And if you do not become weaponized with this knowledge that I'm offering to teach, as I have been public for over a decade now, and learn how to truly wield magic on the level by unleashing your true self and your magic upon the landscape of your existence, and overcome fear that is targeted against your very soul, then you are fucked anymore at this point, not knowing. I am not into speculation and theory. I am about results. 
I live the results 24 seven. And if you're not climbing the mountain of actual initiation in terms of mastering this existence and transcending the lockdown equations of slavery, then that's exactly what the fuck you are. A goddamn slave with a lust and obsession to it on an unconscious subconscious level. That I will call the fuck out because it is true and not because I want it to be true. It's very easy to observe. Really think about what I'm saying and ask yourselves, where are you now? How do you feel about where you are? How the fuck did you get where you are in these moments? Is it working for you? What is it that you are really wanting to experience in terms of life, let alone why? Why do you desire that? How would it actually feel to get what you wanted? And what exactly is the way of manifesting this? What do you assume would be required to overcome these obstacles and do what must be done? How are you going to actually fucking measure this action? And when the fuck is it going to be done? Do you even know what you are hearing me say? There are answers to behold to all of these splintering questions that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else on the levels and continue to be held at bay against them. You were never meant to actually know them. That's the thing. And the fact is, the answers are there, and it's very specific in terms of discovering them specifically as an individual unto yourself, as an individual when it comes to the universal laws of metaphysics, the eternal axioms, and how things actually work to templating and mechanics to navigate consciousness itself. I am a goddamn expert at showing the way to these things, as I have over the years, and I'm still just getting the fuck started, having never negated the fundamentals to foundation in terms of where I have come to. And as I am encouraged with the platform, everything in terms of approaching the gates of actual initiation into the occult, gates of initiation into this mystery school for all of you who are in network. This is a must do with me. There is nothing the fuck else out there on the levels that's going to get you there like this. And as to the quality of those that have been doing the real work, who have worked with me one-on-one -on -one authentically, results for thousands across the world are off the charts. This can also be yours as offered the level one apprentice full rights initiation into the mystery school, which is an actual legacy when it comes to the Magi Grail shaman themselves. That is who I am. And if you truly want things to be a certain way, I will show you how the fuck to actually make it happen in terms of the universal laws of metaphysics and eternal axioms and how things actually work in terms of reality which is your birthright to existence or even being here to your incarnation on earth remembered. And in the beginning, before the great betrayal happened, symbols and archetypes were used for study and meditation. And later in terms of that, these things were kept from us in their pure form. For as a man or woman thinks, so they will be. Again, it's all about our state of mind. And through study of these energies and archetypes, we come to understand what is already within us and how to access these things. This is one of the four sacred arts where the true ritual is within and through the higher self that shows you and brings you unto the true self. The first pollution was thought pollution, but a thought is in alignment with core intelligence and the highest of the high. That is when all things become possible. That is when all things are seen plainly for what they truly are. And this is what we are burning past, stacking and burning this bullshit out of our fucking templating. And depending on the energy and frequency you are tuned to, it will determine where the rest goes. You must first know how aeons ago, dark sorcerers and black magicians began the systematic destruction of all the keys to the ancient wisdom and proper knowledge so that none will have access to proper knowledge and wisdom in terms, let alone given over to all of these pseudo systems in terms of the left wing and the right wing brotherhoods and sisterhoods. They all operate within the dialectic of the triangulation factors within the first veil so that they can be the gods. They lusted for those positions.
because they themselves did not complete their initiations. Take it back to the Mega Grail Shaman Betrayal of Thoth segment that I presented. The crux of the entire procession of the Grand Cycle goes back to that. And if you have not seen that segment, you need to see it. And it is a lot to go through. These thresholds are not going to be able to be crossed on the level until you come to understand and know and truly see what the fuck is going on in terms of this reality. I am a way shower to it in terms of my position, and I have paid the price to be in this position. I have given my life to hold true the alignment and the accountability of my purpose to incarnation so that those to whom it's meant will get the opportunity again to graduate this motherfucker and anchor the higher here in this realm in terms of your life in the face of all of this madness and insanity and bullshit and come into a place of thriving otherwise knowing the difference and then you stand side by side with other people that are doing the same work more and more people are becoming truly educated knowing the difference and this is how we gain strength knowing who the fuck we are in this realm manifesting accordingly and the reason they fucked with everything is so that you don't reach true out of shift becoming part of their fucking order in terms of their fucking lodges and their bullshit fucking mystery schools that have accounted for fucking nothing except what is manifested the realm and what we see happening all around us. None of it has worked! It's a fucking joke! It's a sick fucking joke that's been played on your fucking mind and you are not the wiser otherwise because you don't know this shit. You don't know this shit like I do and others in my network on the fucking level do. Even so, they mutilated the symbolism of the mysteries while professing to preserve them. So even though the neophytes who passed through initiations could not fully secure the proper knowledge and wisdom to which they were entitled to, and that's why I know the difference in terms of my position and what this mystery school represents specifically, going back to the original teaching. And I'm here to put them back into their proper place an original office. And it's through the inversion and misrepresentation of principles that idolatry and, war, and world religions and organized dark occultism were introduced by encouraging the worship of the images, which in the beginning, the wise had erected solely as symbols for study and meditation in terms of actual mechanics and gnosis. It's also been a cause point for war within the realm the divide and conquer among the races, not knowing the difference. Trade it out on bullshit that has nothing to do with your specific templating. It's specific. And in this case, false and limited interpretations were given to the emblems and archetypes and figures of the mysteries coupled with their elaborate theologies and stories that were created around them to confuse the minds of their devotees so that the masses when deprived of their spiritual birthright and inheritance. And this is what I've been speaking about the whole time. When I speak about the birthright, this is what I mean. Not knowing the difference, end up groveling in confusion and ignorance, even as they still do unknowingly become abject slaves to these spiritual imposters. They have been using these principles against us to enslave us instead of it setting us free as things were originally intended to keep intact. And the purpose of this specific segment is to take time in terms of addressing this in order to bring these things back, their proper place of alignment as they were in the beginning in purity, in wisdom, and proper knowledge and balance, undoing all superstition and ignorance otherwise you got to know the difference when it comes to who i am and what i do and what all of this is in terms of the platform i'm not some spring chicken motherfucker i've been here done this shit and i am in the position of moksha if you even know what that means so as for those who are interested in the occult to actual initiation and context 
to the products and services that are offered with Black Earth Productions. Go into the description below and check out everything to line these things out. And with this, you're going to have to get a hold of me directly by sending me a direct email at Black Earth Productions with an S at the end at hotmail.com. Right now with everything, I'm working to get a marketing system set up with the website that I've not been privy to having since everything is stored in. And it's still going to take some time to get things leveled up with that. In the meantime, I'm going to continue to operate as I have. And all of you need to get a hold of me directly by sending me again an email in terms of Gebo, which is the Law of Equal Energy Exchange. I work with Cash App and PayPal specifically. And we have everything available to the curriculum of actual rights of initiation into the occult with level one apprentice and also level two adept, which both come with payment plan options for those that need them. All of this is available as well as other services to readings and counsel in a lot of different areas with me one-on-one. -on -one. This is also your opportunity to get full access to the Black Earth Library and all of the occult reference material made available with the Mystery School that you will not find compiled on the level anywhere else here on Earth. This is six terabytes with the Black Earth Library that you will be getting full access to with a 100% private interface that I have worked to create exclusively with the Mystery School for you to access at any time with actual study and research material. Added now to an announcement with services with the Mystery School now is the new Blood Codes reading. This in context will genuinely reveal what your blood codes are to actual templating without having to send your blood in for a DNA test, which is something I cannot and will never condone doing. And if you don't know how to activate these codes within the blood in terms of certain techniques revealed with the Mystery School when it comes to Level 1 Apprentice, again, this is why I'm encouraging everyone to sign up and work with me one-on-one. -on -one. It's also to say that this works even if you don't know where your ancestors actually come from. We have just templated a practical way to find out, and it doesn't matter if you don't know these things about yourself or haven't been activated. This, though, will reveal how to do so on other levels, as this is vital in our times at what seems to be the epitome of identity crisis in the world, getting back to our true roots as individuals, let alone whole fucking nations across the world as individuals. We must transcend the melting pot of multicultural bullshit and remember who we are. And this is all of us, no matter what race you are. And if you don't know what your actual blood codes are, then you don't know who the fuck you are on top of everything else. This goes back to the level foundation in terms of the prima materia, your actual physical vessel. And I need to make this very, very ultra clear. This will also possibly include with the reading things to past life trajectories and how it also correlates things to an individual's template and blood code codex. We tested this with ourselves and it was way too ironic and mind blowing and accurate as fuck which is why it is not implemented with our services. This is systematically made available now as some other things that are going to be coming up in terms of services that correlate more in terms of health and healing, making a lot of updates in terms of 2024. There are also some things that are going to be added to local services that we're going to be offering where we live directly that you're going to want to be on the lookout for if you're willing to actually travel. We will be offering cold laser therapy sessions, ultrasound sessions, and also amp Tesla coil sessions in terms of healing technologies we have acquired that will also be able to assist the process of healing when it comes to the physical body. We have used these ourselves and they are 100% effective in terms of what they are capable of. And I'm also going to be promoting a very advanced healing technology called the Morth device. It is by far one of the most amazing fucking things that I've seen in terms which can actually assist in reprogramming the nervous system itself and is going to be made available with one of our friends whom I've also had on the platform and has also taken initiation into the mystery school and manifested results in terms to her personal pathwork trajectory. I cannot get into the full details of what all of these things are capable of, but you're going to want to be on the lookout for everything in terms I just mentioned that are going to be coming up on the website this month specifically. And as for the products page, the Black Earth merch is available. That's what this one is I'm wearing right here. Serpent of Wisdom hood, as well as the Star of the Alpha shirt in terms of promoting the works of Black Earth Productions. And there are other designs that we still want to get printed that are on the products page as well. Those are the ones that are available though. And for those that want to grab them, they're both available in both medium and large sizes. As for other things offered, again, the Nectar of Athanasia is made available. And to this, 
the power of the blue flame is real as to the universal laws of metaphysics and the eternal axioms and occult arts and sciences and teaching applied with the mystery school. This organically brings forth the goal of consciousness itself. And as to its physical alchemical manifestation, an ultra ancient elixir to practical magic that consists the highest quality gold, liquid gold in the entire earth. This assists the integration process of initiation. And as it states in the mythos, the nectar would manifest to the procession of the grand cycle. And I am the first man to release this in the entire world back into the realm. This recipe specifically is of the true legacy of Kemet and exists now again since what happened did. It was most necessary to bring this forth and make it public, where we hail forth the spirit of the military general of the human heart. Unto the birthright of mankind, the nectar of Athanasia. This is what the nectar of Athanasia is unto. And for more information about that, go onto the website at Black Earth Productions with AC.com. Click on the products page, read through everything, and get a hold of me directly. Again, with my email at Black Earth Productions with an S at the end at hotmail.com. So market and market well. I am about to unleash hell in context to healing and a firestorm with the platform this coming month forward in terms of 2024 with the next project that I'm going to be releasing. I have reached my goddamn boiling point anymore. And I don't care if people aren't ready for what the fuck I'm going to be bringing forward. It's literally going to tear open the gap through everything to be bridged and seal the fuck off the abyss to be known and seen on levels not put together since I've created Black Earth Productions. And the fact that we are the bridge in terms of a major celestial pivot point and integration factor and you still don't get it, let alone what is required here. You think you know, you still don't know. And all of the pain and trials and indifference and apathy to bullshit programming that you're dealing with as I witness the world become increasingly more weak and retarded every single day makes my goddamn fucking blood boil. It's pathetic ass bullshit. And if it doesn't piss you the fuck off, then you're not awakened to the actual hour that we are in or why I am even saying this with the vehemence that you need to awaken for real. I'll keep it raw. I'll keep it real. I'll keep it relevant. Just like everybody else in this network should. You can expect that from me. And to those that are in support, I hail you forward to take all of this even harder with me and getting far more serious, standing side by side in passion and gladness and fortitude and actually start bringing this shit together in network on levels that we have not begun to achieve yet. And if you haven't taken initiation into the mystery school with me one-on-one, -on -one, then you fucking need to so that I can pull out the things that I meant to in terms of my position and bring you up to speed so that we can scale forward the strike that has not even been unleashed in our world yet. So when it comes time to bring down this goddamn fucking celestial hammer, it's going to happen with a fury that shatters these pieces of shit will regret for infinity what they have done and what they cannot escape even if they fucking wanted to. They know they can't. And I know what these fucks are capable of beyond anything that has even happened up to this point with a certain level of respect, but at the same time, an utter disdain and indifference to it, knowing the difference. What's even greater to what we are actually capable of forever opposed these inverted bullshit grid works of slavery that they are shackled and enslaved to as well in terms of a false virtue in regrets forever this is our lives and our lives have meaning our lives have value our lives have purpose to that meaning and for it to be in service to truth and that which is the alignment to our goddamn birthright here on earth which is the highest cause of existence in the realm you have to get on fire for this, despite the attacks and second guessing and mind wave function collapse bullshit and signaling to every single triangulated point and dialectic factor and transcend this shit and keep moving forward and snapping the chains to dust to be carried off by the winds. We are to anchor the grid works of the higher force in this realm. This is what our true potential being human in this realm is and belongs to us.
to true humans, not those that wear the skins of who we are, but are not that underneath the surface. And they are laughing at all you fucking idiots that really can't see what the fuck has happened on an infinite wheel of madness at the first veil to be transcended. The second veil reveals the true war that we are in and who the real fucking enemy of existence actually is. The third veil reveals how they are raking your asses out. The fourth veil is to the core wound of humanity, to that which has never been healed since what happened did, and is festering its spew in our fucking faces. And this is what they feed upon. And that is the hell that you must embrace in terms of alignment, and you must decide an action beyond these things. Me and my kind have transcended in and through the fifth veil to freedom. This is what we live. This is how we move. This is how we have our being. And you have to really know this shit on much higher levels now. And that's what this is. This specific segment. A prompt. Because they are no longer excuses to shit anymore. And this is where you need to start pushing this harder and getting the fucking breakthroughs and manifestations necessary in your own life to take all of this to the next levels. I am sounding the horn now. We are in 2024, which is a year of transformation. It's the year of the fucking dragon! And I mean every single fucking word of what I've said here. So to wrap this up now, in the words of the great bard, Steve Bontill, I will wake with the stars and reach for the infinite deep, free of the insanity. Scars never bled mirror my heart. Words never said mirror my soul. Soon, I'll be lighting the fire for this untouchable place where spirit has now taken flight. The emptiness swallows us all. The wilderness inside our minds is lost to the sheltering sight of the blind in this age of indifferent eyes that is bleeding all over our lives. We must reach for the infinite deep, free from the insanity, the wilderness inside our minds that's bleeding all over our lives. And this is why you must reach for eternity, which is now. This is our lives. This is now your moment. And I look forward to hearing directly from you. This is Seth Esposa, Black Earth Productions, Blue Flame, Healing Arts, and Occult Science, Temple of the White Dragon. Be empowered. Be encouraged. Pills!